during our introduction of the Dr. Oxo Rex, we've touched on these eight slots here in the upper section of our interface on the instrument. Now I want to get into some fine detail and show you exactly how these work and how we can use them. What they represent is the eight loops loaded into the Octorex at any one time. And we can select each loop here just by clicking the button. And what will happen is you'll see the loop change down here in the display section and it'll show you the loop that's loaded in that slot. Now if I press run here, you'll hear the loop that's selected. Now you've got an enable loop playback. If you don't want this to happen, you can untick it and you can't even press run, nothing will happen. So what this means is when you press play in your reason sequencer, if you've not got this lit up here, nothing will happen. It's a little bit like the preview that we had in the Dr. Rex. If I bring this up, there's a preview play here and this would enable us to play loops back in time with our project. And the run button here is pretty much the same thing. If we've got this ticked and we press play in our reason sequencer, run is automatically activated and you'll hear the currently selected loop playback in time with your project. So if you don't want it, untick it. If you want that to happen, make sure it's illuminated. It's that simple. Now, you can see the names and often Rex files are named in a pretty wacky way. So, you know, you won't get a very good idea of what they're called if you're using library loops. But if you're making your own loops, you could name them a little more clearly. And that name will appear in each little display under the buttons here. We've also got this notes to slot control. Now, what this means is if you've got one loop selected and you want to play that back, but you want to play back another loop via your MIDI keyboard, you could select two with the notes to slot. So we've now got loop one selected, but our notes to slot light is on loop two. This means that via my MIDI keyboard, I can play back this second loop here. If I light up this select slice via MIDI, you can see which slice I'm playing. So there you go. That gives you a pretty good idea of how the slots work. And next, we'll be taking a look at how we actually load Rex files into each slot um, in both sections of the interface.